Hey everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another episode of Let's Go to the Record Store. Got to be one of my absolute favorite series to do here. It's filming, going to a record store and going through it kind of point of view. You guys get to see as I'm going through stuff. And then of course, if you stick around all the way until the end, you will get to see the loot that I pick up from the place. Now, uh, most of you guys know that I have recently moved to New Jersey, left Manhattan, moved to New Jersey. I have a house with a lot more square footage. I went from a 350 square foot apartment to a 2000 square foot house. So obviously you can see all my you know 11,000 CDs worth of boxes and everything behind me spread out there. Still got the amazing wall of wonder here with another 8,000 CDs on it but anyway I have had to find some new record stores which that leads to more episodes of let's go to the record store right what can be better than that so found a new one here out in New Jersey it's in Elmwood Park New Jersey at 12 Summit Avenue and so this place is called Music Connection brand new one for me but I've done some reading online and uh, sounded really promising lots of CDs focus on metal, uh, but apparently they've got a little bit of everything there. So we are gonna head out there today. And of course, this is gonna be a little different for me because I will be driving there as opposed to jumping on the subway and doing it the other way that we've done in the past in Manhattan. So a little bit of different experience here for me getting over there, but we're gonna check some stuff out. So join me as we go to the new record store in Elmwood Park, New Jersey called Music Connection.
All right, so we're back. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I know I certainly did. Um, music connection, wow, what a place. I mean, that thing was packed to the gills, full of CDs, vinyl, everything. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, limited edition packagings. I mean, just all kinds of really cool stuff there. That was really great. And so if you are interested in the place called Music Connection, it is at 12 Summit Avenue, Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Um, really great guys that work there. They were very friendly, very helpful and so forth. And so I walked away with some good stuff. I got my loot here. So let's go through it now and you can see what it is that I chose to pick up. First up, Jeff Beck, Flash. I believe this is a 1985 album from him and I uh, don't know a whole lot about it yet and I'm not the biggest Jeff Beck fan but I'm certainly interested in his work and I've veered in a couple different times and I've got um, a couple of his albums but picking this one up here I've got the first two things that he did Beckel and stuff like that the classics that people say you should know but I was intrigued by this one because it's got people get ready with Rod Stewart on it. Uh, that was the first one that I knew from him this sort of opened me up to him. But this one here also has a bunch of other vocalists on tracks doing things. So it's not just a straight instrumental album, which is one of the things that drew me to this. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Picked that up for $4.99. So pretty excited about that. This next one here is a cool one. Romantics, it's a greatest hits, which is simply called What I Like About You, their biggest hit and other romantic hits. $7.99, still sealed in plastic. 10 tracks on it, of course, kicking off with their biggest hit and so forth. So kind of excited about that. Miss these old ones here that got these uh, security strips on them like that. That was something they did temporary for a while. Pain in the butt to get off, but uh, it's kind of nostalgic now. All right, this next one here is really cool. Loudness, Disillusion. Um, this one here, I don't remember what number, but this is an early one. This is before they got uh, popular here in the States. So most of the stuff that's on here, the refrain, uh, chorus, whatever you want to call it, uh, is in English, but the verses and everything are still in Japanese. So it's sort of a hybrid album, kind of makes it interesting. They would later re-record some of these in English, so I actually know them from that. But this is the original album that a lot of cool tracks came from, so super excited. It is a Japanese pressing. It was sealed when I picked it up. Um, got this one, I think, for 21, but uh, you know, works for me. I know some of you guys would think that's uh, maybe a little too expensive. I opened it because I was already uh, listening to the CD on the way home. My car has a CD player, so I'm certainly excited about that. All right, next one up is this, uh, Mother's Army. It is the debut album from them. And again, you can see it's a Japanese pressing of it. And um, we've got JoLynn Turner in here, Jeff Watson, Bob Daisley, Carmine Apice uh, in here. So pretty cool super group lineup. I think the album was 1993. They would actually record three albums together. And I've had the second two for a very long time but I've never had this one. And so paid a little pretty penny for it, $29.99. Don't know if you can see that on there. Um, 
but it was worth it for me. And I have to say this about the Store Music Connection. Their stuff is in really good condition. So they've got some inexpensive ones that are in the four, five, six dollar range. They've also got some really highly collectible things that are in there. And you know, if you're willing to pay a, a decent price for these things, it's totally worth it because uh, first of all, you're getting this thing that is a, a rare, hard to find disc, but it's in great condition. So none of the stuff that was in there was beat up. And that to me is a, a big thing because I like my stuff in good condition. All right, next one was a cool one. Um, I guess it's a, a new one here uh, called Axe, right? We know Axe, you know, from back in the day. Rock and Roll Party in the Streets is the title of it. It is a two disc collection on the Deadline label. But what I was interested in was this, the fact that it spans these five albums here, uh, six albums actually, sorry, six albums, and the two discs are broken down. So it's got a selection of tracks from Axe in 79, Living on the Edge in 80, Offering in 1981, and then it's got some bonus unreleased tracks. The second disc is Nemesis, or has Nem tracks from Nemesis, I should say, 1983. The album five that was a reunion in 2000 and the crown in 2001 plus another unreleased track so 20 tracks on the first one 16 tracks on the second one few of these are re-records and so they tell you that and i'm kind of actually interested in it for that it's not all straight original uh offering 1981 has some re-recording nemesis has some re-recording the rest of the stuff is original ones from back in the day but very cool there, so excited about that. Now this is something I had seen that was coming out, but I didn't put a too, you know, sort of too much, um, you know, I don't know, interest into it kind of a thing because I don't really necessarily consider it an official release. But Stephen Piercy, and uh, he has this come out called Overdrive. It's on the Deadline label, and you always got to be a little careful with that label because they will repackage and repackage and repackage stuff here. So. Not entirely sure. I've kind of tried to do my research on it. You can't stream it in advance. Um, but it has a bunch of tracks from Arcade, Solo Stephen Piercy, some stuff from Mickey Rat, which is before Rat, and it finishes off with some stuff from Rat. Now, I know that the stuff from Mickey Rat and Rat is probably going to be more bootleg-ish quality kind of stuff. But all the stuff from Arcade and the Stephen Piercy stuff should be pretty good, and that's the upfront part. Tracks number 1 through 13 are those, and then we get 14, 15 Mickey Rat, and, and then uh, 16 through 19 Rat. So... I, you know, I'm a huge Stephen Piercy. I'm a huge Rat fan. I like all the projects that he's done, Arcade especially. And so, if this is a compilation and it's in good sound quality, then I'm going to be really excited. If it's not, well, you know, then I paid what I paid for it. But um, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And that's one of the things about going to a record store that sells new product. Music Connection didn't just sell used. They also had brand new releases and stuff like that. So, anyway, got a, a bunch of... Uh, new stuff here six things super excited about all that i'm gonna go listen to it and check it out but hopefully you enjoyed the video our experience point of view going through all that stuff now you've gotten to see the loot and everything from it and uh, certainly leave your comments let me know your thoughts go out and visit your local record store and if you are in the area do check out music connection in elmwood park new jersey all right everyone take care have a great day and i'll talk to you all real soon Bye bye